been a while then, but we're back with another video for Marvel's Avengers. Now, the last video I put out was run about a month ago. The reason there's not been any videos is there's simply really not been any content to discuss, and at the moment there still really isn't, but I was itching to make up some infographics. I had a lot of fun doing the, the ones recently for all the character, legendary and exotic sets, and I was also wanting to talk about, about the potential future in the game. So what I've done, I've come up with a, a roadmap here of information that we have, so it's broken into three sections. We have one for confirmed changes that are coming to the game, one for ones that are coming soon but there's no real set date, not that we have a set date for much to be honest, if anything. And then the last section is really about things that have been data mined and also rumoured as well. So when you put it all together, there's actually a fair amount that is coming and potentially coming to the game and if we do get all this, future the game could be bright and I still wouldn't like to place a bet either way which way the game's going to go but when you see this roadmap it certainly does look encouraging. Now before we jump in and, and check it out two things, one if you are enjoying the content in the channel take the time to hit the subscribe button, the like button, feel free to share the video and lastly leave a comment. Leaving a comment is very important because it helps drive engagement and it means YouTube recommends the video. And secondly, in regards to the fact that we recently had the personal safety of a developer for the game put at risk from some idiot on Reddit that actually doxed them and, and released their personal details. To that individual, you are a massive bell end. You need to seek help, and I really do hope Crystal Dynamics pursue this as much as they can. But let's jump in and let's check out this roadmap. What we'll do here to make it a bit more fun, we'll review the, the sections one at a time. And as mentioned, there's three different sections we have here. We have things that have been confirmed, we have the, the coming soon section where it's been confirmed in a way, but it's a bit more tentative when and if we'll get it. And then finally you have the data mine rumours section where it can get pretty wild. But let's check out the, the confirmed information we have first. And I've put this in a rough date order, I believe the, the changes will come as well. We start off here with what I believe will be the first piece of content, that's the, the Super Adaptoid, but it's the Mega Level Threat version of them, which is essentially a multiplayer only version of the Super Adaptoid fight from the, the Kate DLC one that's supposedly going to be really hard and hopefully give us some exclusive gear as well. Following on from that, I can see he's getting the, the Hawkeye Future Imperfect campaign, which from what we've seen in the Kate campaign looks like it will be pretty amazing. It will feature Maestro, whether or not you'll fight him, whether or not it'll be an NPC, we don't know, but we have seen him, so it is going to feature Maestro, so that is pretty amazing as well. We'll then have the, the cloning lab, hopefully who knows what's going on with that, it took so long. Cloning lab could fall anywhere, but I think it might potentially come after the, the Hawkeye We'll want to get that out first, that particular update. We've also had some talk about Captain America and Hulk getting traversal updates, but I don't see this as being massively urgent, so I imagine they would probably concentrate on Future and Perfect first. We have New Game Plus, where you can replay the story mode. Developers have advised that it's in testing at the moment, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long, but again, I think they, they should, and I think they will prioritise the Future and Perfect DLC before some of these smaller changes give us some brand new content. The next selection we have, I'm hoping it all comes together. We've got the, the next gen patch. We've been told it'll be 60 FPS and dynamic 4K and vastly improved load times as well. So that's great. You get pretty nice load times in the next gen as it is, but it'll be great to see them even quicker. I'm then putting this in this section. I know you have some people that will argue and say technically it's not been confirmed, but I, I don't really care. I'm putting it in this section because we have had so much, and I'll bring up some images to show off what we've had as well. So it is Black Panther. We've actually heard some voice lines. They'll be by Christopher Judge. If you don't know who he is, he's a guy that does Kratos. The voice lines we've heard so far are not massively sold on, so I'm hoping it goes through some kind of filter to make it sound a little bit better. Alongside, we'll have... The Black Panther will have the Wakandan expansion as well. I'm not putting too much about it in here because that definitely falls into the data mine and rumours section. The developers have mentioned that a power level increase will come alongside a content drop. So I can see that being with the Wakandan expansion. That would make sense. After that, we're still due Spider-Man. It's PlayStation only, of course, but we're due Spider-Man and the developers have advised that it will include new story content and villains, and then we also have Gear 2.0 as well. We're not quite sure what it will entail, but we've been told that it's it's really quite expansive, the changes we'll be making. I really, really hope 
more than anything that when they do the Gear 2.2 update, they need to tie it in with the next gen patch and the Black Panther expansion. Otherwise, what will happen is pe people will come back in their droves to actually play Black Panther. And if it's the same loot, then they'll get bored after a few days and log off. So I'm really crossing my fingers that they actually tie the, the last few things we've covered here all together. That's the next gen patch, Wakanda, Black Panther and Gear 2.0. That could really kickstart the game if they do that. But let's check out the next section now. This section here, most of the information comes from either interviews or developer streams. If it's a developer stream, then it will be Phil. I think most of the players that actually watch the game know him. He's the one that's actually revealed it. But starting off, we have new abilities. This is something that could be really great and add a bit more build diversity to characters. This was Vince Napoli in a, an AMA on Reddit. He actually talked about this various times and I love the idea of, for example, having a Miss Marvel, you could have multiple support abilities on her or you could have a, a more DPS focused character and put assault on them. I would really love if we could do that. It would add so much variety. In the, the same interview, Vince also talked very briefly about loadouts and that's something they're looking at. So we can switch between, for example, maybe a more multiplayer focused build or a more single player one. We have crossplay up next. It's in this section even though it was mentioned in a war table because it was pretty vague what they actually mentioned. I believe it's exceptionally important for the game, especially for the, the PC players. The population drops as low as 500 concurrent players. Uh, sometimes that's extremely worrying if you are playing on PC. But this is really important. I think it's probably up there with gear 2.0 for how important it actually is. We had a little bit of information on the emote wheel. This was during a developer stream. It was mentioned and Phil said they would check in and see what was happening with it. Phil also recently talked about allowing duplicates of multiple heroes within an instance. You have that issue when a new hero comes out and we've seen it with Kate. Everyone plays that hero and because you can only have one instance of that hero, it means you don't have any multiplayer games that are actually happening. So from that perspective, it really makes sense they would allow duplicates. However, from a gameplay balancing perspective, I do feel that if you had multiples of certain heroes, it really would be game breaking. Imagine four fours, for example, just continually rotating through the the support heroic he's got as a support or the assault, not sure which one offhand, but continually going through that particular heroic and it gives you the invincibility on your teammates and you've got four fours just constantly running through that. It really would be pretty broken. So I can see why they would want to do this, but I'm not sure how they can correctly implement it. Also, from Phil, he talked about potentially having new villains outside of hero releases, and this really does make sense because they're releasing heroes really slow at the moment, and it would be nice to get some new villains in the game, so I would love to see new villains coming alongside, not even any kind of big patches or anything like that, maybe just expand on some of the iconic stories we have already. For example, you have four, and it's hinting towards Loki, it would be great to to see Loki actually coming in there. And then just to finish up this section, again, this came from Phil, I believe all the goodies come from him. There was talk about the fact that they are very strongly looking into MCU skins. So that's Marvel Cinematic Universe skins. It's something they're definitely looking into. Something I feel that's really important as well. Yes, I want comic book skins, but for your average player that doesn't actually follow the comic books, they will be really looking forward to MCU skins. And that brings money into the game. If the game is making money, then we're more likely that they'll continue with it and we'll get more updates. But let's check out the, the last section now. This is data mining rumours. Well, this section here, most of the, the data mining information comes from Miller. As soon as you mention the word data mine, you probably think of him, so props to him for finding all this. But we'll start off with the more interesting bits first. This is actual characters now. Back when the game first came out, there was someone that I think they really got clamped down on by Crystal Dynamics, but they released a huge data mine and it actually had a lot of abilities and so on for characters and the, the characters that are actually listed here I believe they all had abilities in that but that data mine got pulled down because it was everything in the game that really was pretty mind blown but characters that were included in that you had She-Hulk, Winter Soldier, War Machine and Captain Marvel and as mentioned it wasn't just references to their names it was references to particular abilities as well and also these characters for She-Hulk and Winter Soldier there have been voice references that have been leaked by Miller who they're actually talked about. We then have the image we've seen of War Machine as well there and then with Captain Marvel there's so many hints. We've seen her or different costumes in game via posters and then also you've got all the the Kree campaign as well which would just really make sense for the Kree storyline. It would really make sense she was introduced in. 
next we have Claw as a villain for the Wakandan expansion found in the, the data mine and also that would come alongside a, a pretty substantive raid with various different stages for him so it'd be good to see a boss that's more than just a, a bullet sponge. We have a, a Modoc villain sector and I think developers have maybe said they're working on this but I couldn't find anything so for now I put it in the, the data mining rumour section but we have it a voice reference cap when he's actually talking about this particular stage. There's new artifacts. These artifacts were actually listed in the original data mine and there was a lot more in there and all the ones that have been in there have actually came true so far. But we have the Staff of Conchu. This is from Moon Knight. You've got the Lifeline Tablet. I believe that's going to be a reward from the cloning labs. And then you've got the Crystal of Cadavis as well. We have an Old Man Hawkeye outfit. This was spoiled by Miller on Twitter. I say spoiled, I mean it was leaked by... Uh, Miller on Twitter, here's that show image here, and then this is a pretty big one, so this one here, the fact that Shuri has been mentioned within the Wakandan expansion, I've also heard some rumblings about Storm being mentioned as well, now this is probably the probably the biggest rumour I would say here, and the one to take with the, the most amount of salt out of all of them, but this particular one here, is that potentially Black Panther may be married to Storm. That's something that happened in the comics. It would be absolutely huge for the game if they bring out the Wakandan expansion and Storm is in it because they've actually said in previous interviews that the X-Men are on the table for the game and they can be included. But I don't think a lot of people actually know this and this would let lots of just more casual players actually think, wait a minute, X-Men characters can be in the game and get them a lot more excited. And then finally we have something from today actually, there's rumours going about about emails being sent to certain people about a test server being set up to actually trial out upcoming content and it's really interesting because it says they're, they're, they're really trying with this, they're not, they're not thrown in the towel if they are going to the effort of setting up a test server. But that's everything there, it's actually a fair bit of information and again I'll be the first to say the game's in a very rocky spot at the moment, hence why I've not done a video for as long as a month, but if you look at all this, if it comes out, if it comes out at the right time then, then fingers crossed I'm not going to have to start again on a brand new game as one that I've covered shuts down. That's been happening too many times for me. I'm getting a bit fed up with that happening. But yeah, let me know what you think of all this in the, the comments below. And thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and I'll see you all again soon.